Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks with Deanna, brought to you by DTG Connection. Today we'll be going over how to remove a black background using a Photoshop action. First, we're going to go ahead and open up a graphic. You want to make sure that the image size is correct. So the first thing you got to do is go to image, image size. Make sure it's the correct size that you want. So if you want it to be 10 inches, make it 10 inches. You want to be 15, make it 15. Also make sure the resolution is at 300. Sometimes images are too small, like 72 or 150. You can change the resolution here. And then also use these resampling tools here to make sure that they stay sharp. I'm going to leave it here and hit OK. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Window. Choose Actions. It'll pull up the submenu right here. And we're going to import an action. So what an action is, it's a automatic button that someone else created to do all the steps for you. Um, I want to make note that I did not create this action. I actually downloaded it from photoshopsupply.com. We actually uploaded it onto our website at dtgconnection.com so you can find it there. So what we're going to do next is I like to use button mode. So I'm going to hit the three lines here. Choose button mode. So then now there are nice looking buttons here. Select the three lines again. Put load action. And you're going to load the action that you downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and find it in my folders here. And load. So then now if you look at the menu here, it says hard remove and soft remove. What a hard remove is, is that if you have a logo that has sharp edges, you want to use hard mode. If you have an image like this where you may have some feathering on the edges, you want to use soft. So for this image, I'm going to use soft. So all you need to do is click the button. It's going to run all these steps for you. When it gets to this level screen here, what it does is you can choose how much of the detail you want to keep. So if I, if I move it down here, you can see how much of the actual image I want to keep right here. I feel like this is a good spot. I can still see my headphones right here and the wiring for the cable here. I'm going to hit OK. So it tells you you're supposed to paint within it to show the mask. I have a better way. When you go to the Layers submenu here, you're going to select the white box layer. And I'm just going to delete it. Now you can kind of see what was left over, but it was way too light. I'm going to create another background here. So I'm going to go down here where the plus sign is to create a new clear layer. I'm going to drag it down. Choose the fill paint bucket tool here. It's sometimes hiding behind the gradient tool. So to find it, you have to hold down your left mouse key and choose paint bucket. I'm going to select it black and it gives me a faux black background. Next, what I'm going to do is to get this brighter, I'm going to duplicate this layer to basically build on it. So I'm going to click this here and drag it down to the plus sign with a square. And as you can see, every layer that I add, it gets brighter. You do this until you get to a point where you feel like it looks good. And then I'm going to unpreview this layer to double check. I think I'm going to do one more. Okay. I'm going to uncheck the little preview eyeball here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the three lines where the layer submenu is. Merge visible. So then now I have one layer right here. So now you can see your work. If you want to add text to it or a logo, you can go ahead and do that by going File, Place Embedded, find the file that you want to embed. I'm going to choose our logo here. I can find it. There it is. And I can arrange it accordingly. Now, I still have all the extra dead space. And as always, I want to trim it. So image, trim, OK. 
So now it's the size that I want. Now you can save the graphic. File, export, quick export is PNG, Wolf graphic final, and save. Now you have a graphic ready for DTG. I do want you guys to be aware that you can't use a graphic that has feathering or transparency for direct to film because the pattern will block it. That will have to be done with half toning, but we'll save that for another episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Tips and Tricks. If you want to see more, please visit us at dtgconnection.com or our social media channels or YouTube. Have a great day, everyone.